Hello guys and welcome to my channel. As you know guys, this is one of the video of the series of video that I am doing here on my channel to create a drone right from the scratch for the aerial photography. In this video guys, I am going to tell you how to install this external DVR on your drone frame and how to connect it to the VTX and to your flight controller. I have already done the unboxing of this DVR and I have already talked in detail about the features and specification and wiring diagram of this DVR guys. So if you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. So guys, if you are new to assembling drone, ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Let's get started. So guys, before we jump into soldering the wires onto this DVR guys, let me walk you through what is my plan and how I'm going to proceed with the installation of the DVR guys. So here you can see I have already placed the two standoffs. These are M2 standoffs which are compatible with the DVR guys and there are two more on which I have already placed the LED driver guys. So I'm going to use these two along with these two DRs. Possibly I'll be using some of the silicon padding so as to raise this DVR to put it straight like this here on the top and then i will be soldering all the wires also you know guys uh, these are the three wires which are coming from my vtx which is installed onto the front so my video output of this dvr is going to be connected to these wires and then also guys i'm going to power this dvr using the 5 volt output supply coming out of the dvr which is one of these three wires as well so one of the wire is the video output which is going to go here and then two wires are 5 volt and ground which I'm going to connect it here as you can see 5 volt in ground in and video out and then here on this side guys I have 5 volt out ground out video in and audio in here I will be putting in some wires directly and then I will be pushing it from the holes one of these holes so as to move it onto the front and connect it to the flight controller audio in 5 volt and ground I am going to connect it to any external mic that's my plan which I will be doing in my future videos so guys please stay tuned to my channel so that you get the notifications for all my future videos so this is the plan guys to install the dvr onto my drone frame also guys i have already done a detailed review of this dvr on my channel for different modes of connection and different way of wiring this DVR onto your drone frame and your flight controller guys if you have not seen that videos I would highly recommend you to see that video so that you understand the connections so I will put the wiring diagram here on the screen guys just as an overview so that you understand what I am going to do and how these wires are being connected onto my flight controller and connected with my VTX so let's get started with the soldering so as always guys before we start with any soldering let's do the tinning on to the pads of this dvr quickly so here is my hl pin which i am going to connect it for auto control of this dvr to start and stop this is my video out pin which is going to my vtx transmitter this is my ground and power supply this is 5 volt in let's do it on the other side so here is my 5 volt and ground out be very careful guys while soldering so that you do not short these pads or overheat that will damage your chip so i have already done the tinning guys now let's quickly connect the wires so here first let's connect the wires which I'm going to use as a loose wires. So this is 5 volt out. This is connected. And let's use the green one for ground. Then video in is going to be let's say purple. And then the audio end pin for my future use. So here are the four wires which I have already connected. Now let's start with the 5 volt in ground and then HL. Let's connect the HL first which is going to be my loose wire. 
for the remote connection which is going to go on to my controller so this is how I connect it so now guys let's quickly solder the wires which are coming out of the VTX red is my video input signal yellow is my 5 volt and uh, white is my ground so that is what I'm going to follow let's keep that here let's start with the 5 volt so this is the 5 volt so the 5 volt connected white is your ground And the video out which is going to video in pen so guys my soldering is done all the wires are now aligned now guys I have already completed the soldering as you can see now let's quickly attach it to the drone frame so guys as you can see I have already put my DVR onto this place onto the standups which were there on the back side of my drone frame guys now I'm going to quickly tighten the screws here to just to put them at its place we don't have to tighten them up too much guys so that it stays at its place that is all you need so this is it guys this is how you install the DVR on the back side of your drone frame now I'm going to move these wires through one of the holes which is available onto the back side to the front so that I will be able to connect it to the flight controller so now I pulled it onto the front guys as you can see it is onto the front now this I am going to connect it to my flight controller guys so as you can see guys on my drone frame my motor wires are connected up to S4 my S5 to S12 is all free so guys I am going to use S5 pin here on my flight controller so as to start and stop the recordings for the DVR so this is the blue wire guys that is coming out of the DVR for high and low guys and then I'm going to program this in the software so as to be able to start and stop the recording in the DVR using this wire from S5 so let's quickly connect this wire onto S5 so to do that guys let's quickly pin this right from the side let's put some solder so as you can see guys it is properly tinned now let me quickly connect the blue wire right here on S5 so just like this so here you can see guys my S5 wire is now connected now I will go into INAP and program this S5 pin so as to be able to control the recording right from this pin so this is it guys i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comment please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications from my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies